Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. I'm here in the UK at Bentley's headquarters in Crewe. 4,000 people are employed here and all five of Bentley's models are produced here. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how it's done, but first I'm gonna take you back in time. Bentley's stunning new heritage garage shows off the most historically significant Bentley models from the last 100 plus years. Every decade of Bentley is represented. There are 45 cars in the collection, 37 road cars, and eight race cars. All of the vehicles here are maintained in full running order. This collection provides a clear picture of where the Bentley of today comes from. Starting with the oldest Bentley on the planet, it was built in 1919 by Bentley's founder, W.O. Bentley. But what he wanted to combine was a car that was suitably quick, so had performance, could be driven a long way without tiring you out, and was comfortable. And that's true of every single car that's been mm -hmm. made by this company ever since. So now we're taking a look at the 1938 liter. Tell me a little bit about this vehicle. So this is one of the most special cars that we own. This was W.O. Bentley's masterpiece. This was the car of which he was most proud. It was the one where he thought perfectly linked performance and luxury and grand touring. The Mark V Corniche is my favorite in the collection. It's a one of one. Tell me a little bit more about this amazing vehicle. So there are three key lines on here that still define the modern Bentley today, and they are this very pronounced rear haunch here, the slope of the roof line at the back. Beautiful. And then this very pronounced front power line that flows from the top of the front wheel and then blends into the side of the car. Gorgeous, very elegant. This is our 1991 Turbo R. Um, another important turning point in Bentley's history. And this is the car that changed Bentley's fortunes, so it caused a complete reversal. Suddenly, Bentley was outselling Rolls-Royce, Bentley got its performance credentials back, and it was the start of the rebuild of the brand all the way to where we are today. One of the cheesiest features on this vehicle is the horn. Let's test it out. And there's another sound. Two options. It was captivating experiencing the Bentley DNA from the last 100 years or so, up close and personal. Just beyond the Heritage Collection, my crew visit continued inside the factory. About 14,000 cars a year are produced here, and production here is carbon neutral and sustainability prioritized. The veneer that we use from our trees comes from fallen trees, but we've introduced new, more sustainable finishes, which are proving very popular. As I explored, I learned fine craftsmanship, engineering expertise, and cutting edge technology make each luxury vehicle special. Our normal day at Bentley is 80 cars being processed from here. So all of these are inspected by, by eye, by a colleague. It's amazing to watch as a raw piece of material is transformed into a gorgeous finished product. A personal touch contributes to Bentley's reputation as the most sought after luxury car brand in the world. So over, under, and through. As I learned, cross-stitching a Bentayga can be very relaxing and rewarding. One-on-one -on -one interactions and customization options are truly limitless over here in Mulliner, which is Bentley's personal commissioning division. This is where we came from, uh, and it's recreating that. It's um, it's exciting for the customers in one way. Next door is where we want to be going to. So we use the Bacalar and the Batours as platforms for technology, for materials, to really stretch the Bentley brand into the future. That future is on a fast track as crew evolves to produce 100% fully electric vehicles by 2030. Basically, we are creating the biggest product offensive Bentley ever had with five and five. That means five new electric cars. Uh, in five years, and I can promise you it will be absolutely pure Bentleys. Evolving from the world's largest producer of 12-cylinder petrol engines to having no combustion engines at all requires Bentley to reinvent itself as the most sustainable luxury car company in the world. And after visiting Bentley's headquarters in England, it's clear to me it's achievable as Bentley is on top of its game.